Hello, hello! Welcome to the tutorial for elevator rails. Isn't this cool? Alrighty, so we create elevator rails, uh, like if I would have had this ready when I was... Uh, before I actually started this. Here we go, rail elevators. It is created from iron ingots and the, uh, you know, rail shape, and then you have redstone top and bottom. Very cool, you get eight of them. And you just place them on a wall, it doesn't really matter what kind of wall, and you can use them like ladders, you can go up, you can go down, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how they work. Now, what you can do, oh, excuse me, burping, is use them like a elevator. So if you'll watch very carefully, ignore these tracks. They're just for um, cleaning later on. Now you can see that this wasn't powered, so once it like a cart tries to go towards it, it says, oh, I can't go up this, so I'm going to go the other way. So you can kind of use it to, you know, uh, make sure that your carts aren't going to the right places if you don't want them to, which is very nice. Or, say you actually want to go to the top. All you have to do is power the very top block, the block that this track is sitting on. I have a uh, nice, lovely wireless receive or yeah wireless receiver over here and i have wireless transmitters over here they're from red power i believe um it's just how i manage to you know work the stuff so that it, it makes it nicer for me i like playing railcraft with other mods um right now all you have to do is power the very top block and it will power all the tracks down below it this is kind of important later on but essentially this is what happens as soon as your uh, car gets to the track itself uh, you'll get a nice lovely pull all the way to the top and then it will just send it on its way with a little bit of burst power and uh, as we can see I launch my car off into the distance. Very nice. Okay, but that's not all it can do. Of course, you know, if you only power the top block, uh, if you don't power the top block, what happens if your car actually, you know, gets stuck up there? Um, if I just went like so, if I just put this guy over here, and watch this. Now we put him up there. He gets stuck. He needs to be at the top block. There's just no other way. Um, but if you do have something like this, what if you wanted multiple levels and only one elevator? You don't really want to uh, create multiple tracks just to go to certain levels. So what you can do is apply redstone power to you know a block going off into the air of this block over here. So it has to be right next to your other track here, that's where I'm putting the redstone signal, and this is what happens. Okay. Boom! So automatically go off into the next level rather than the very top level, and that works pretty well so far. Uh, right. Now on top of uh, being able to pull things up and down, uh, what you can do, let's see if I can get it to do it. You can push it right along there, it will be used as an elevator to go straight down, this is only when it's unpowered. When it is powered it will go up, when it's unpowered it will go down, and everything is uh, well in the world. So if you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial, feel free to say so, and uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys later.